Hi, this is Stefan Mischuk with KillerPHP.com and welcome to the Classes and Objects video. This video is just the, the last bit of theoretical videos that we're going to go over and this is a short one before we actually write some real classes. The reason that I'm doing this last bit of theory is because I want to be sure that when we, we actually write start writing our own classes and objects in object-oriented PHP that you will hit uh, the ground running and you have at least the basic theoretical understanding. Again, this is going to be a very short discussion because like you, theory bores me to tears. So um, let's get to it. I'm now briefly going to discuss some of the concepts that I wrote about in the PDF classes and objects in PHP. You can find this PDF at uh, killerphp.com. Just do a search for PDFs and look for classes and objects. You'll find it there. It will give you the background material required to be able to start creating objects in real code. But for those who are not big readers, I'm going to quickly go over some of the key concepts that I write about in that document so that uh, when we do actually start creating our objects, you'll understand it. So let's get to it now. In a nutshell, when you're writing object-oriented PHP, you're actually creating a series of programmatic constructs called objects, thus object-oriented. Essentially, when you write object-oriented code, you think of your project as being a series of objects and as such, the foundations or the bricks, if you will, of any object-oriented software is the objects themselves. So how do you create objects in object-oriented PHP? Objects are created by first creating something called a class. A class is, I guess you could describe it as a blueprint or an outline or a template these are a few ways of describing it for an object. So you as a programmer, you would first write the code for a class. And the class basically describes everything about the object that you're going to be running in your program. So you would write a class. Let's say you might have a class called process email. And in that class, you would stick all your functions, all your variables, and any sort of logic if statements and so on inside of this class and this class then be becomes the blueprint for the object itself so what do I mean it becomes the blueprint well essentially you as a programmer you write your class and then what you would do is you would tell the PHP engine again using some code with some special keywords to actually use that class slash blueprint to actually cre create living, breathing objects in the PHP uh, memory space, memory on the server. So in reality, you as a programmer are not creating the objects, you're creating the classes, the blueprints, you're the architect, and then you instruct the PHP engine when the scripts are run to actually create the uh, living, breathing objects, if you will, from your classes. Some of you probably picked up that since the class, the classes that you write are the blueprints, uh, the templates for your objects, you can use the classes to generate many, many objects when the PHP code is actually running. We'll get more into that later, but that's one of the powerful aspects of object-oriented programming where once you've defined, created your class, you can create many, many objects from that one class and do all kinds of funky things with it. Again, this is, you know, I know this is kind of nebulous at this point, but when you actually start writing the code, it will become um, totally clear. Before I go on, I just want to point out one last thing. I'm not giving you guys so much theory up front because I don't believe in front loading this type of stuff with tons of theory because you're just going to forget most of the theory anyway. So what I prefer to do 
is to give you the minimal amount of theory so that we can get right into it and actually start writing code and building objects and our writing our classes and so forth. In our next video, we're going to sit down and write our very first PHP classes. And then from those classes, we're going to create or generate objects using the PHP engine, of course. Ciao.